Zelensky did it again. So but look at this, right? So this is from when he was in a mental case. So the young Zelensky, before he was bought by the cabal. So this is before he realized what the real game was. The real game is that he's a puppet of international business, and if he goes against it, they'll kill him. <laughs> And they'll, they'll use the right-wing Nazis in Ukraine to do it. They've already said they'll do it. And so this is him before that. Listen to how he used to sound before they, he thought he was going to get killed. Ready? Here, okay, here's what he says. He's saying, in the East and in Crimea, people want to speak Russian. Leave them alone. Just leave them alone. Legally, provide them the right to speak Russian. Language should never divide our country. I am, a, I am of Jewish heritage. I speak Russian, and I am a citizen of Ukraine. I love this country, and I don't want to be part of another. Russia and Ukraine are brotherly people. I know many millions, thousands of people who live in Russia and who are wonderful. We are one color, one blood. We understand each other, irrespective of language. <laughs> Guys, come on. We're all the same color. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he used to say before the West and NATO got a stranglehold on him. That's what he used to say. And now he is, Ukraine restricts Russian books and music in latest step of derussification. They've gone exactly the opposite. That's why he got elected. He was talking like that about bringing people together and ending the, the war and all that stuff, the, meaning the shelling of the Donbass. You know, that's let, why he got elected. He ran on peace and unification of the country. You know how you could de-Russify is that chunk of Russians that doesn't want to be there? They'd say, he, okay. Yeah, let them go. So there he is. New laws also increase quotas on Ukrainian language, speech, and music, and television and radio. That was from um, last year. Of but June. Jimmy, if America was at war, would you expect them to ban everything in the language of our enemy? <laughs> You wouldn't fight alongside Nazis to defend your country and also ban all languages but the ones those Nazis wanted. So that the reason why we're showing this is because I just became aware of this video. I think it just surfaced. And so there's no greater contrast, there's no greater example of how Zelensky ran before, how he talked before, before NATO got his stranglehold on him, and now he's banning the Russian language. Well, that's why Sean Penn respects his acting. That's right. <laughs> Check out my new stand-up special, COVID Lies Are Funny, at jimmydoor.com. Only $10, become a premium member. We're going to be on tour in Northampton, Massachusetts, Syracuse, Cohoes, New York, Hartford, Los Angeles, Bakersfield, California, Baltimore, Maryland, and San Francisco, California. Plus, do we say Chicago? There's lots of stuff. Go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets. See you there.